now suffers from PTSD. That's post-traumatic stress disorder. That is a, a mental illness that's brought on by a very traumatic event happening in the life of this man who relives it in dreams and has, has reactions to it when he sees certain scenes. And also, this man suffers from uh, uh, the severe nightmares. He suffers from uh, distrust and startle effect, and that person is myself. I was born and raised, some of you already heard this, as a Jehovah's Witness. My father was a Bethelite for 13 years during uh, Tipsy Joe Rutherford's time, and my mother was a coal porter. My parents and I lived in the North Bronx and often entertained the elite of the Watchtower, meaning Noor and Franz and George Kautz, along with the branch servants from Finland, Eric Gangangba and Peter Hensel, the South African branch servant. My parents also did extensive amount of translation of the Finnish language for the society. Some of it was done at home, and some of it was done at the Brooklyn Bethel, which I, which I accompanied my parents. It was during one of these visits to Bethel that a Bethel family member sexually molested me or raped me. His name was Leo Greenleaf, and I was not his only victim, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, he, he was uh, charged with civil activities with another young boy whose parents did bring charges against him. But the Watchtower Society did nothing to him, along with uh, Edward Chitty and Percy Chapman, who were also known homosexuals. The society did not even disfellowship dis these men. They just transferred them to other areas where they wouldn't bring a bad light to society. I never told anyone about these things, that these rapes that occurred to me. It was multiple. It wasn't just one time. I lived with them throughout what I thought was my sin for years. I developed a love affair with a bottle and turned into a raving alcoholic. And finally, though, I, I broke free. I've been sober 11 years, and I'm attending college. I'm a Phi Theta Kappa student, and I work at a substance abuse agency. So I was born and raised as Jehovah's Witnesses. What was life like? And how did it affect our mental health? To be blunt, life as a child, as a Jehovah's Witness, is far from normal. I know I can speak from experience. But what I have seen at the Kingdom Halls, I believe that the Department of Social Services in this state and many other states should be involved. I have seen children as young as two be taken back in the Kingdom Hall, and you can hear them screaming from the beating that they're getting because a little two-year-old can't sit there for the two hours during the boring dribble that you're hearing from the platform.